Hey everybody, welcome back to Fantasy Theory. So the other day I posted a video about 10 facts on Deadpool because there's been a ton of Deadpool spoilers, Deadpool leaks, and all of that coming out about Deadpool 3. If you didn't know, Deadpool 3 will feature Deadpool, obviously, and Hugh Jackman returning to play Wolverine. It will be kind of like a buddy cop movie, but it seems to be that they'll be going back and fighting a ton of the old Fox X-Men. That seems to be the rumor. But we went over this all in the Deadpool video if you want to check that out. Really great video, and I had a lot of fun making it. So I thought it'd be a good idea idea today to do the same thing only with Wolverine. I gave 10 facts about Deadpool the other day, so today we're going to do 10 facts on Wolverine. Let's jump into it. Number 1. The Debut and Creation Wolverine, a fictional character appearing in the American comic books published by Marvel Comics, made his first appearance in The Incredible Hulk, issue 180, in 1974. Followed by a more significant role in issue number 181, he was created by writer Len Wein, artist John Romita Sr., and Marvel art director Herb Trampy. Number two, Canadian origins. Wolverine, whose real name is Logan, is a Canadian mutant with a rich and complex backstory. His Canadian heritage and military background are integral parts of his character development. Number three, his mutant healing factor. One of Wolverine's most iconic features is his mutant healing factor. The ability allows him to recover from virtually any wound, making him nearly indestructible and significantly extending his lifespan. Number four, his claws. Wolverine possesses retractable claws that are laced with adamantium, a virtually indestructible metal. These claws are housed in his forearms and can extend through the back of his hand. The process of bonding adamantium to the skeleton was part of the Weapon X program, which will lead me into number 5, Weapon X. Wolverine's mysterious past is tied to the Weapon X program, a secret government initiative that experimented on mutants, enhancing their abilities and turning them into living weapons. The bonding process of adamantium and memory erasure are key elements of his time in Weapon X. Number 6, his regenerative abilities. In addition to his healing factor, Wolverine's Regenerative abilities extend to slowing down his aging process, making him look and physically perform like a man in his prime despite being over a century old. Number 7. His Association with the X-Men Wolverine is closely associated with the X-Men, a group of mutants led by Charles Xavier. He has been a pivotal member of the team for many years, contributing his combat skills, leadership, and distinctive personality to the group dynamic. Number 8. While Wolverine is known for his role in the X-Men, he has also numerous solo adventures in various comic book series. These solo stories often delve into this complex past, personal struggles, and solo missions as a superhero. Number 9. His Relationships Wolverine's character is marked by complex relationships, most notably with Jean Grey and Mariko Yoshida. His unrequited love for Jean Grey and his relationship with Mariko add emotional depth to his character. And number 10, Wolverine has been portrayed by Hugh Jackman in a series of X-Men and standalone Wolverine films within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Well, kinda. Jackman's portrayal garnered widespread acclaim and Wolverine remains one of the most iconic and beloved characters in Marvel's vast universe. Now, I'm super excited for Deadpool 3. It should be a little bit before it comes out, but I know they just started recently filming again after the strike, so it should be coming here maybe 2024. I think that's the plan. Wolverine is an awesome character, and I'm so excited to see Hugh Jackman in the classic yellow suit that he never actually got to do in any of his films, and hopefully he'll be wearing his mask. Anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you're excited for Deadpool 3, what you're most excited for in Deadpool 3, and if you're excited for the return of Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. I'll see you all in the next one. Have an incredible day.